Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 448. What is ependymoma? Ependymoma are ependymal cell tumors most commonly found in the fourth ventricle. What can be the consequence if ependymoma grows too large? If the ependymoma becomes too large, it can cause hydrocephalus. What is hydrocephalus? Hydrocephalus is buildup of fluid inside the skull that leads to brain swelling. Describe the prognosis of ependymoma. The prognosis of ependymoma is generally poor. What are the characteristic features seen in ependymoma? Ependymoma you see characteristic perivascular pseudorosettes as well as rod-shaped blepharoplasts which are the basal ciliary bodies found near the nucleus. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.